Assalamu alaikum, uh, dear teacher. This is Irfan Allah from BSGS4. Uh, and today I'm going to give you an introduction of our project timetable management system, which is a web ba based application. So here our contributors are Mr. Mubashir and Irfan Allah. Uh, we have the content, uh, there are, we have four things, introduction, problem statement, methodology, and results. In introduction, we have developed a web-based application to manage timetable of classes uh, for Sakar IB University. We had uh, two different problem statements uh, uh, which we handled in the project. The first one was uh, managing schedules uh, manually. Uh, which was a very handy and time-taking uh, uh, work. So we converted that into the database. So that is now very easy. The second one, uh, one is searching schedule in PDF document. A PDF uh, uh, having all the time schedules, or you can say timetables, was shared with all the students, whether they are new or old. They have to search their uh, their schedule manually uh, every time. So we converted that into a web-based application. So the, the search is very easy. You just give your class name, teacher, and uh, uh, and search. So a, a table will be appear and you can say, see all your schedules according to your, uh, uh, your desire. Here we have a used methodology. The first one is IntelliJ IDEA. Uh, which is an IDE that manages our project. And the second one is GitHub, which is a version control tool that is used uh, uh, to manage your versions of whatever project. And uh, the third one is uh, used, uh, we used different languages where there are five languages. Uh, the first one is HTML, which is uh, for uh, which is for uh, um, structure, uh, for structuring the, the web-based application. The second one is CSS, uh, which is for style, uh, giving the style and uh, decoration to our web-based application. The third one is JavaScript, which is, which is used to uh, make the web, uh, web application interactive. Uh, the fourth one is PHP, which is used uh, for data-based connectivity. So the fifth one is MySQL, which is basically uh, to manipulate, uh, means to create the database, search, delete, and all these we do in MySQL. And the result, we, we got an application. I mean, we built an application, a web-based application with a, with a simple interface. A simple interface means a user-friendly interface. Uh, we give different privileges access privileges uh, to admin and users and also for teachers. So uh, they, they all will be uh, different I means they will get a, a login by their, uh, their IDs. If uh, the ID is of admin, so it will log in into the admin page. And if the uh, ID is for user, uh, I mean for the student, so he will log in into a student uh, page. So let's move forward to the project demo. First, we have a login page where we have two options either we enter as an admin or as a user or member. Uh, if we enter as an admin, then we have control uh, to the admin, uh, we have access to the admin controls like update, delete, uh, search, or add. First, we log in as an admin, where we have our default username admin and password also admin. We have an extra option of remember me, where username is stored in cache. Then we add as a login. Here we have our admin controls, where an admin can register any member as a student, admin, or instructor. And then we have our instructors where he can add instructors, add courses, departments, and timetable. In timetable, he have a multiple times departments. When he change the departments, then on the changing of department, 
we also have changed the subjects here we have a bscs4 section b where we have five enrolled subjects in this department then instructors that uh, instructs the uh, this subject then we have rooms when we change the blocks then we also have changed the rooms when we click add button and here our timetable will add to the database and then uh, comes towards the contact where a user or member can contact the admin directly he can leave his feedback or message to the admin and then comes towards the update timetable where an admin can update the timetable here we search the timetable of bscs4 and here we have the current timetable of the bscs4 where uh, an admin can change the subject at a specific time and uh, he just click on update button to update that row or you can our uh, admin can delete that uh, timetable row and then we move backward to the home and here we have an option of timetable viewing the timetable in viewing the timetable we have two options either we search as a department or we search from the instructor first we search from the department from the department we search for bscs4 section b when we click on go button here we have a search according to the department and then we come to the instructor where we search according to the instructor when we click on go button we have the search related to the instructor that Mansoor Ahmed and then we come backward toward the home uh, then when we click on logout button we will come backward toward the login page